Hi, everybody, and welcome to our video time of Sunday school and stories and a little bit of devotion. So today's story, we're using some different kinds of art. We're going to use paint to do the basic backgrounds. And then when all of the figures are kind of made in paint and the backgrounds are, we're going to take paint markers and draw in some of the extra details. This will make the painting look a lot like it's something um, illustrating in a book. So here we go. Our story today is Noah's Ark. Well, Noah's Ark story comes from the book of Genesis. And the book of Genesis is a book that talks about beginnings and why things are or have been. And at the very beginning, you know, we have the story of Adam and Eve. And after Adam and Eve, things got very, very sinful. People kept getting worse and worse and worse. And then along came 10 generations later, a man named Noah. Noah was Adam and Eve's great, 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 great grandson. And Noah knew God. Noah talked to God and listened to him. And Noah followed the teachings and the things that God wanted him to be doing. His whole family did. So God knew that among the whole earth, Noah was the only one. God was growing very angry and people got worse and worse and worse until finally God told Noah that I am very sad. The people have forgotten all about me. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth. Lots and lots and lots of rain. So build yourself a huge boat out of cypress wood. We'll call it an ark. Noah did just what God said and made a big, 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 big boat with lots of rooms. Now Noah was 500 years old when God first came to him, and it took him a hundred years to finish building the ark. So when Noah was 600 years old, he entered the ark with his wife and their sons and their sons' wives, and God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows and horses and goats, lambs and monkeys. Oh, oh my, they all came two by two and many, many more than we can name. All different kinds of animals, birds, and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. And then God himself shut the door behind them. Well, inside the big boat, the lions roared and the dogs barked and the birds chirped. And it was really stuffy and stinky. Can you imagine how muggy and hot it was? On the inside, it was toasty warm, but on the outside, it was raining. First came down in giant drops, plop, 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 and then a little more, and then a little more, and then it poured for 40 days and 40 nights. The rain came down, and the water floods came out, and the water slashed on the sides of the big boat, and it pushed it up and down and up and down on the waves. And they floated there for a hundred and fifty days. Finally, it came to rest on top of a tall mountain. But no one knew that they couldn't get out yet. There was still nowhere for them to go. So they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited. After over half a year of being inside that ark, God finally said to them, Come out of the boat, you and your family, your sons and their wives. So Noah and his family and all the animals came off of the boat. They put their feet on dry land. It was pretty exciting. They and the animals ran and they skipped and they jumped and they twirled and they danced in the sunlight. Everyone was very, very happy. They thanked God for the land and God's blessing. Noah was very excited, and he made an altar to God. 
Noah's family was saved, and so were all the animals. And Noah's family grew and grew and grew. And the animals and the birds and all the creepy crawly things that had come along filled the earth again. And God painted a bright red rainbow in the sky. It had red and orange and yellow and green and blue and violet across it. And God promised, never again will water flood the earth. And whenever you see a rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too. And we will remember together that I love you. The end. The story Hang on of for Noah another song tells us some about really Noah important for things. us to learn and it reminds to enjoy. us how important it is to listen to God's rules and his laws and to treat each other with care, to love our neighbors as ourselves, and to always welcome each other in God's name. But it also reminds us that sometimes God puts us places that we never thought we'd be and asks things of us that don't always make sense at first. We have to remember to depend on God and know that we're put this place and doing these things often for a reason we never could even guess until it's done. It's a really fun story and it can be really sometimes even a scary story as we think about a flood and think about all those kind of things. But we remember that God listens to his people. He loves his people and we are his people. We have Jesus to has come to help us when we have sinned, at, to ask him and God for forgiveness and know that in Jesus' name, God will forgive us all of our sins and will take a time to be able to use us for his good and the things he needs again. It's called Rise and Shine, or sometimes people call it Archie Archie. And so it's a bunch of silly words, um, and it's a kind of fun tune. Yeah. Um, so we'll sing it, and then we'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll sing it again so you get a little bit of practice. It's a fun one. All right. See? Yep. Thanks for listening and watching with us. We hope you had fun watching and you learned something that maybe you can do in your own home or in your own time with art. You know, art is all about what you want it to be. It's never about anything perfect. 
So just have fun with it and know that God gives you gifts and ways to share them. Just like sharing art in a picture and telling a story about Noah's Ark. We love you. See you next week.